That's good. It is. Ooh, it washes down the chow and prash real nice. They go well together. <laughs> Could probably survive on an, on an island with just some bread, chow and prash, and antiquity blue. Juice! Hey, welcome back to our stupid interaction. It's with Corbin. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, for more juicy content. Thanks on Patreon. Follow us for the content. Subscribe. Yeah. Hit the like button. Oh, yes. Down below. Today we got a, a video. It's uh, the world's most dangerous road. Ah. So. Oh. We, we uh, reacted seen to this. no a top five, but I don't believe because I looked through our top the five, top five one and because this is called say this one. Pangi via Kishtwar. I didn't see that in our the top five one. Really? Like the top five most dangerous road in India that oh, we those reacted crazy to? crazy ones that we saw. And this is more, this is just one road and it kind of, fo- you. It, it's these people that take a trip and they kind of. It's going to be around the edge of a cliff thing, one lane, <sighs> ridiculous. Um, but it's a, I think in um, the Jammu division of Jammu Kashmir. Okay. Um, but here. Um, um, the usual route via Sarch Pass was closed for the season. So we had to take the more, longer, and more dangerous route via Kishtwar, Jammu, and Kashmir. There is a six-kilometer patch near Tiare that is so dangerous and rough that you can't take a small car on it. It is so narrow that no buses and trucks drive on this road. The road after Tiare is so rough that it took us four hours to cover the last 30 kilometers. What's 30 kilometers in... Um... And it's like 15 miles, I think. How many miles is 30 kilometers? 18 miles. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's a long time. Yeah, for... four hours for 18 miles. But uh, on these, you can't go more than a mile an hour or you risk yeah. death. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't know why. It makes me so <laughs> more. I'm not scared of heights, but driving on something like this, because obviously that yeah. there's a whole different element, obviously. <laughs> Yeah, on stuff like that. Man. No, there's a lot of things I see people doing in the back of my mind. My thoughts like, why? Why would you do that? Yeah. Here we go. I'm probably gonna feel that way watching this. That doesn't look that dangerous. Oh. Okay. It's very pretty. I would I would be so concerned about rock slides. And overhangs collapsing. <clears throat> oh. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'd feel uncomfortable walking that. Forget driving in a car. I'd feel uncomfortable walking that. I could thing. probably walk it, but driving... I'd still feel uncomfortable. Oh my god. And the thing is if you're if if if, if you're driving <laughs> if you're driving, you're on the right side where the edge is. He doesn't seem to care at all. <laughs> but he's hanging on. The guy in the passenger seat was hanging on. Oh, that just Oh, you could go under a great. waterfall? That's cool. Oh, whoa, jeez. Turn, turn. Oh, now it's getting dark. Great. They're gonna do this at night. Whoa! Oh! What? You should have showed us you passing. I want to see that. Seriously. He can't show you because he ran him off the road. Oh my God. Oh. I 
bet they slept well. So where does this road take you? It's just... That'll slow you down. Aw. <laughs> Backing up. Hope you don't have any uh, mechanical failures <laughs> while you're out there. Flat tires. Blow a gasket. Whoa, brother. Oh. <laughs> That's gorgeous, though. Oh, my God. You're like two inches from the edge. Back there, you All of those things just with the wrong amount of weight can give out, and you're dead. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, I feel a little better now. Oh, not so much. Who put those rocks in the middle of the road? That's the point. It's really gorgeous. Now it's going to get icy. That's just great. Oh, that's great. Let's just add ice and slush on top of that. Well, if you have a Jeep, you're good. <laughs> oh, he's good. I don't know what he's saying. Is he clearing the road for him? Well, that's nice. Got an escort. <laughs> and what do you do if you're in there and a blizzard comes through? That's your fault for not looking at the weather. Dang. And I've gone, I've like, because I, I have a Jeep. And so I, I've gone off roading and, and like stuff. We have mountains here. And so uh, we'll go and do like through the mountains and, and all that kind of stuff. Cause that's what you do with Jeeps. And that's the point of having a Jeep. Mudding. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't No, Not interested. Yeah. I don't know, man. I not interested. <laughs> I was like, we how much longer can the way around? Be? There's, I mean this, there's one way you'd get me to do that. Hmm. That's where we have to go film. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> in a movie and that's where we have you know you're doing a, a take film. out a life insurance <laughs> yeah you're doing a film like it you name it i could name i could rattle off a hundred names of people who i want to work with and if they said this is the film we're doing and we're doing it here and this is the road we have to take to get there um no question asked i'm doing it other than that you'd never get me up there <laughs> <laughs> i would like to go up there for a hike because i think it's gorgeous i think it's absolutely so a hike good. yeah yeah to drive that road yeah, driving's different. Yeah, no. That's uh, a little thin. <laughs> Helicopter. you got to be careful for the drafts. Because I do love hiking. I do, too. Uh, hiking is one of my favorite hiking things for fun. me and my wife. That's what we've always enjoyed doing. But, man, because you have a massive car, that's a whole other element of weight, and and you can't fully see where, it's, where the tires are. and Yeah, that's... Uh... Whew. Has anybody drove that road? You guys, are, you guys are crazy, man. You guys are crazy. <laughs> you crazy yeah, girl. I just no. What's the thinnest road you've ever gone on? Have you ever? You've never been to Maui, right? No, but there is. There's a road to Hana. When Maui. you leave Cape Town and go to the tip of the penis, there is yes, there is a road right as you get past there's this really pretty little area that apparently oprah winfrey and will smith and a couple of other people have ho homes in there and there's a there's a segment you can barely fit 
two cars past each other when you go by, and it's rock on the left and cliff on the right. But it's it's in the, it's not in the Santa Monica Mountains. No, no, no. Santa, no, 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 no. This is oh. in in South Africa. Oh, but there, there's places like that here in Santa Monica Mountains. Oh yeah, there are, and like. Canaan Road, uh, Decker Canyon here. Have you ever been down Decker Canyon? Decker Canyon's pretty thin. Yeah, they. When I used to deliver for Amazon, Amazon, Flex, yeah, we. That was like the worst route I ever had. And any time that I ever saw that route again, I was like, I'm never doing that again because the, there's no cell service, so you can't even right. scan what you need to scan. And then you don't know where these houses are, and the th roads are incredibly thin. There's some parts of the Santa Monica Mountains that are like that. Yeah. Oh boy. And there's a stretch when you're going up to uh, Big Bear. There's a stretch that gets pretty uncomfortable, but it's nothing like that. Oh, nothing like nothing that. Nothing like that. I wonder what the most dangerous road in America is. I, someone's got to have it. Wouldn't so Obviously, now, it'd probably be somewhere over here. The scariest road I ever drove? Maybe Alaska. Scariest road I ever drove was when I was driving from L.A. to Omaha, Nebraska. I was 18, and the day before, I had fallen asleep at the wheel in Arizona and had tweaked my uh, alignment. So the wheel was pulling hard to the left. Mm -hmm. And I was taking, there's a couple ways you can go. I took the route that takes you through the Rocky Mountains. And I went through the Rocky Mountains at night. It was snowing. There's no lights on the road. And with the snow, you start to get that bedazzled, hypnotized thing and your headlights are just going. And you don't know if the edge of the road is a sheer cliff down to the left or maybe it's some forest. So you can't tell, and you're driving that way for a good two to three hours in the dark with your car, if you let go of the wheel, is doing this. I was fully adrenalized. <laughs> yeah, but actually, it's probably the uh, the roads up in, like, Alaska. Because probably. They're, they're iced over. Absolutely. Full-on iced over, because, yeah. like, you got the ice road truckers. Well, yeah, they got the ice truckers that do those things, and the yeah. ice can give way underneath them, and you're gone. Um, so... so. Yeah, have Maybe you driven this? Let us know if you've driven it. You're you're braver than us. Uh, <laughs> know anyone who didn't didn't make it? <laughs> I bet. I wonder how many people die on this road. I bet there's a lot. I uh, wouldn't surprise me. Actually, Indians are. That's a terrible way to go. Indians are crazy drivers. That's a terrible. They're so. They're how did your grandfather die? He was hit by a boulder on the road up there. So he's just driving along, and the thing crushed his head. <laughs> yep. R.I.P. Grandpa. Anyways, let us know what other videos, and if you've actually ever driven this road, please let us know down below, you crazy, crazy boys and girls. Josh!